السلام عليكم ورحمة الله مرحبا هلا بالجميع ويلكم افري وان اند سو افري هابي ستارت وذ ثيرز داي ويش از اولويز ان انديكيشن اوف اوف ا ويك اند ويش از جود فور اول اوف اس باي ذا واي يو هاف تو دايز فور ا ويك اند اند my days till uh, till i think so till i was in the age of six, 16 uh, or 15 uh, we had one day holiday only uh, just one day it was just friday <laughs> okay so it was just friday however the number of hours changed uh, because it used to be uh, it used to be till uh, one o'clock only and uh, and some other places uh, even less it was till 12 30 and then you return back home so imagine that every day you go from 7 30 to 12 30 and then you go back home uh, however there was only one day vacation uh, and then it became uh, from 7 30 till 1 30 uh, uh, and it became two days holidays um yani, i cannot say which one is better and he, both of them were were good. Getting early back home is also good. Um, but the best is is to have you know, like Yanni from 7.30 to 12.30 and two days, Yanni, why not? Okay, so let's go back. Uh, so uh, I think I shared my screen. Yeah, I think so. I uh, shared my screen. So what I need to do, okay, interested parties. Uh, now, uh, regarding the interested parties, which is part of ISO, uh, interested party, uh, any uh, party, they mean like any kind of a person or organization that can affect or be affected uh, or perceive itself to be affected by a decision or activity. That means someone around you, I mean, you are an organization who is inside or outside your uh, your organization inside your organization you have employees you have uh, uh, who do you have mostly employees maybe you have customers coming in uh, who else do you have uh, you have top management uh, outside uh, you have suppliers uh, you have ministries maybe you're dealing with some ministries all what whom you are dealing with is called an interested party and definitely uh, I mentioned in internal and external uh, interested parties so we have external and internal uh, now uh, the external interested parties it could be again legal regulatory or contractual requirements that means there are legal requirements you need to satisfy when you open a restaurant you have legal requirements for a ministry of health uh, you have also legal requirements for uh, for the fire uh, department uh, regarding having a fire extinguisher or something like that. Uh, uh, so what else? You have re legal requirements regarding uh, or regulatory requirements uh, regarding the Ministry of Labor. Okay, uh, so that is also uh, it, the difference between legal and regulatory. You, you just show, you, you saw that I shifted. Uh, legal قانون regulatory is uh, it's also قانون it's also law uh, but regulatory is uh, how should I say it now uh, legal uh, legally any shop should uh, you cannot for example have uh, smoke uh, you, you cannot smoke within inside uh, a restaurant so that is legal you need to have a fire extinguisher that is legal uh, uh, regulatory that means who is regulating the restaurants in bahrain a ministry uh, of um, ministry of industry and um, and the com and commerce so that ministry is the regulatory body because you have staff you have employees so another regulatory body uh, will enter here uh, who is the, the, the Ministry of Labor. 
or it could be the LRMA, uh, okay, be, uh, depending on, uh, because you have some uh, issues related to uh, 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 to the private uh, or, or, or the, uh, uh, the public sector. Contractual requirements are the requirements with the supplier. You have some contracts uh, and you need to satisfy. So the, all this is external. Internal, the internal could be the management themselves, the staff members, uh, the shareholders, okay? So the, one of the internal that we did not mention, the shareholders. So who are the shareholders for, um, for the company? Uh, so the, usually the shareholders, the ones who put their money to run the business, okay? So they are, they, they, they need to, you need to satisfy their uh, needs as well, okay? Uh, yes, so that's a shareholder. Trade unions, we don't have trade unions in Bahrain, uh, but trade unions, a union for engineers, you have a union for uh, medical doctors, and those unions uh, usually protect the sector, the sector of engineers, the sector uh, uh, of, the, of medicine. Uh, so these trade unions protect in a way that they, they start, uh, if they see that it is affected on in any negative way, they try to protect that, se that sector. Jamiyat Al Muhandisin, the Bahrain Society of Engineers, is something like a trade union for the engineering sector. Okay, so uh, again, so that that is the meaning of the interested party. Uh, you get affected or if affecting it. So the list you can develop criteria for determining the uh, interested parties by considering what their influence or impact or it's the opposite way you are influencing them so either they are impacting you or you're impacting them okay and of course you need to consider everything uh, uh, regarding the influence the risks and and everything that is related to them and to you and it's not only you identify the risk you need to understand their needs you need to understand the needs of the ministry the needs of the a regulatory body. You need to understand the needs of the customer. You need to understand the needs of the shareholders. What are their needs? Maybe they want you to make a hundred thousand BD by the end of the year. If this is their need, uh, then it means you need to, of course, you're going to work in a different uh, pace uh, if they ask you to to have a profit of uh, half a million dinar, not 100,000. Uh, so uh, it, it is a difference. OK, so you need to know the risks, the needs, and here's the need to understand the needs, the expectation requirements of your interested parties and stakeholders. And these are critical. Now, all what I have mentioned here, it can uh, we can put it in a different way, uh, very well organized just to make it easier for us. And and this is where we try to group the interested parties on the relationship with the organization. So we put it in a way that uh, the response responsibility responsibility that means who are responsible for that organization that you're in so you're talking about the investors okay if you're talking about government organization should, so you're talking about the ministry itself uh, the minister uh, the cabinet uh, so responsibilities uh, influence uh, influence could be pressure groups uh, it could be the trade unions somehow, yeah, even though that they are pre uh, presented in the representation. However, who has an influence on you? Who has an influence on you as an organization? Uh, it could uh, it could be it could be anything. Okay, I just mentioned an example. Let's go to the next one. Proximity, proximity. That means who are close to your organization. So you are sitting in an area where you have a neighborhood. Uh, so that that means you cannot have a shop that is very crowdy. Um, I don't know if you can have a coffee shop within a neighborhood and it causes a lot of people trying to park uh, with an area of a neighborhood uh, and they take the parks of all the houses around them. And, and I think so they will not like it. Uh, so you need to consider the neighbors as an interested party here. OK, based on what? Based on one of the groups of you have in your head which is in proximity okay so the these words help you to identify the interested party 
Okay, so they help you to identify the interested party. What else? Dependency. Who depend on your organization? The employees. The employees are very important to satisfy. You need to satisfy the employees as much as you also need to satisfy the customers. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, most of the organization, they satisfy the customer, uh, but they don't try to satisfy the employees. Who cares about the employees? <laughs> yani, as, uh, and I, and I, I gave you many examples, like if you don't really take care of employees, uh, the example that I saw in Yum Yum Tree, um, uh, people start leaving one by one, one by one, and, and the people that you depend on, or they depend on you, as well um, well you depend on them i think so it's more important now they are leaving you and 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 uh, you have a problem you have a problem so dependency i saw another example uh, I, I saw another example of two different organizations i'm not going to say the name of the restaurant uh, because they are not going to be happy if i said it uh, because I talked to the owner because I was not happy with this, with the, with the, with that act, which I considered unethical. Okay, uh, what was that act? Uh, so this is a very famous restaurant, very famous. Okay, so and when I say very famous, that means they make at least like any yani forty thousand BD per month. Okay, at least. And they had employees here who make very specific kind of food. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to mention the name of the food. Uh, so uh, very popular. Don, the chef that they have, it's less than that. They, so they have two main chef who, who know how to do the presentation. Uh, uh, they know any, uh, they know all the ingredients of the food. They know the cook, they are the chef, you know, okay? Um, so th there are two main people there, Yanni, um, and they need they they get a certain amount of salary, of course. The other shop uh, came very quietly to these two people, very quietly, and they started discussing with them to give them a higher amount of salary, and they pulled them here. But this shop today. Um, this shop today, uh, they they make about let me say thirty thousand per month. But it used to make only about five thousand per month, just because of these two guys when they came here. The food, the quality of the food, everything changed, and and actually it's not only they took the the, the two guys. They started putting the name of the menu, so they have a menu here, and the same menu. Uh, it was about here. Um, uh, so I feel sorry to say that this is unethical, but it happened. Uh, why did I say this? Because these two, they could have stayed here and they could have mentioned actually if they are happy in this place uh, and getting all, uh, all what they need. And actually they could have even asked for more uh, and they left and went to this uh, restaurant. And now that restaurant, what I would like to say, like these two people, maybe they did not get the required salary that they were looking for. And this is why what I'm trying to say that you need to take care of your employees. Fine. I don't mean that they had a problem here. That is a problem. But the other problem was an ethical behavior, which is nothing to do with our example here. Uh, but uh, I was just trying to say that one of the interested parties, which are the employees, you need to take care of them. Okay, representation. Sometimes you put consideration to representation. Yeah, I uh, if I talk about the representation of uh, the academics in Bahrain, academics, I mean, uh, professors, doctors. Uh, uh, so uh, who represents the academics in Bahrain? It is the Jamiyat al Akadinian. Uh, and now the new name of it is Jamiyat al Tamayyiz al Bahr al Akadini. It's the same uh, society. Um, so I'm proud to say that I'm the president of the society in Bahrain. Uh, so this represents the academics in Bahrain. They represent the academics in Bahrain, uh, trying to protect, trying to, uh, to, to provide all required support to academics. Now, going back, 
representation. Now, as a university, as a university, whatever university could be University of Bahrain or any other university, uh, it should consider one of its interested parties, the trade unions, or let me say very directly, one of the interested parties for University of Bahrain uh, should be this uh, society here. Uh, why? Because if it did not consider that society, that society uh, may not cooperate. Uh, and it should cooperate, of course, it's all for academics. But if University of Bahrain wants people international, they want to work more, uh, the, uh, more supportive with academics, having some uh, good link with industries, uh, this society could help a lot. Uh, so I'm just mentioning that uh, that it's part of the representation. Uh, a representation, for example, I'll give another example, Bobco, for example. Bobco, they have a trade union, internal trade union. Uh, so it puts a lot of consideration uh, to this trade union. Why? Because uh, this trade union is powerful and it uh, could cause headache to, to the management, top management of Bobco. Uh, so again, there are people who represent the the, uh, the, the, the uh, members or the staff members within Bobco. Uh, authority, of course, one of the interested party is the, are the regulators. We already mentioned that. You saw that now. How did we identify the interested party? We identify them based on the relationship. What are the relationships? The relationship it could be the responsibility, the influence we have or they have proximity, uh, uh, the, the dependency, we depend on them or they depend on us, representation of the organization that I am uh, presenting and the authority that I'm dealing with. So the, the, these are the interested parties that, uh, that we could consider or should consider uh, with our, our example. Now, uh, if you look at those interested party, uh, just to to give an example, what further you can do with those interested parties, like should I manage closely and work very closely with all interested parties? Or there are some interested parties, I just need to keep them informed. I just give them some information. Or there are some interested parties that I don't need to keep them informed. I don't need to manage them closely, work with them very closely. I just need to keep them satisfied. And there are some of the interested parties in which I going to put the minimum effort, just monitoring, okay, to make sure that I know what is happening with them. So here, we are identifying based on the y axis and the x axis where we say that if this interested party has a high power and the interested party also has a high interest in what i am doing then i need to manage very closely so if i talk about uh, shareholders for example now, depending on the shareholders, because it, it, it is different from one uh, organization to another organization, if they have high power, if I would consider shareholder for a certain uh, big uh, invest, investment for building homes, and I know those shareholders, which are the banks uh, in Bahrain, they have high power. And of course, they have high interest because they make a lot of money out of that, Yani. So, uh, so if I am working with those shareholders, I need to manage very closely with them. I need to show them all the results. I need to show them the profit and so on. Uh, OK, uh, so it's important always to know uh, to, to, to know how to deal with them. Let's take an example, a um, example. OK, so I need to bring an example uh, from my head now. I remember that it was an example. Uh, where did <laughs> where did it go? Yeah, and, uh, maybe the example I had in my head was the was the was the final exam of last year. Um, what was the problem in the final exam? Um, I can't remember exactly, uh, but but again, 
if I go to um, if I go to C from all Arad, I don't know. This is a very big example. I need to bring a smaller example. It will be much better. So if I was just me, I don't know. I'm just putting anything in my head. Yani. OK. Uh, so talking about just me, they have many interested parties. Right. And and I'm living in Arad. I'm going to talk about Jasmine's Arad. And if I'm going to put Jasmine's Arad in this example, responsibility, uh, Al Amin group, okay, Jasim Amin and and um, and his brothers and so on. But he's the main investor, uh, Jasim Amin. So, uh, but I don't have one investor. I have more than one investor here. So I need to satisfy them. As a management, now I'm sitting uh, inside there. Uh, the in just means I need to satisfy an investor. Do have I any influence group pressure groups? I don't think so. Right. If you have something in your head, just mention it. But I don't think so. Uh, proximity neighbors. Yes, we have neighbors around. Yeah, it just means around somehow. Yeah, we have neighbors around. They're a bit far away. Salahatan. They are a bit far away. However, we are going to consider them. Uh, dependency employees, yeah, okay. Representation, do we have trade unions? We don't have. Uh, we need to satisfy Minister of Health, Ministry of Labor, LRMA regulations, and so on. Uh, so if I'm going to put those here in some some way, the investors, uh, the investors, if I'm, 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 I'm working in the top management here, I'm going to manage very closely with the investors. So putting every information back to them. Uh, maybe you would think that because they have high power and high interest, okay, and that is why I need to manage them with them closely. Now, talking about the neighbors, well, the neighbors, uh, let me see the power. They don't have power. Let me see the interest. I think so, and they are a bit far away. They are not of that interest of what is going on. It's not like the Lulu hypermarket that is opening in the middle of Arad we have here, uh, where neighbors did not keep quiet at all. Uh, so they had a high interest. Where uh, let let me put that example side. Yeah, it's a good example actually. I liked it. Uh, but I will uh, let me finish with Jasmine's and we come back to the Lulu. Uh, so talking about the neighbors now for. Uh, just means I would consider that they have low interest and low power, and that's why I'm going to put them in this quadrant where I'm going to say that I just need to monitor minimum effort, minimum effort. And maybe I like any, I don't need to do a lot with, with the neighbors because they're a bit far away. Um, uh, so th that is for the neighbors. What else I have? Employees. Employees, do they have high power? Mm. Uh, that is tricky. I would consider they don't have high power. Uh, however, they may have high interest. Uh, of course, they have high interest in what's going just means because if just means is succeeding, they will succeed. Um, uh, so definitely they will have high interest on all what I need. It's written here. How much interest do they have in your decisions and activities? So all the activities I do uh, as a management, definitely my employees are going to be very concerned uh, with it. However, they will not have any power. So I just keep them informed. Policies, procedures, uh, anything that I do with the organization, I need to keep them informed. But I don't need to keep them satisfied. OK, so you can see how the different, uh, uh, different things are be looked into. Uh, who I else I have? I have the regulatory bodies. Now the regulatory bodies talking about the Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Labor, uh, LRMA, all these people that I need to satisfy. Now these ministers they actually have high power. They do have high power. Uh, they can close my shop. They uh, can do a lot of troubles. They can uh, penalize me and let me pay 1000 BD and 2000 BD. I mean, I know I know 1000 BD is nothing for uh, for just me, yani, but uh, still it's, it's something that counts that I need to pay. 
So they have high power. Now, do they have interest in me? Uh, to be honest with you, they, they have interest with everyone. Uh, yani, uh, they have interest with ev everyone, but most probably they have low interest. Now, this is very tricky because it depends on where uh, what organization you have. If I say that LRMA have low interest on what I'm doing, and for Corona, for example, they, do they have a lot of interest in what is going inside my shop or inside the barber shop, the halak? Maybe they have a higher interest in the barber shop. <laughs> I'm not sure. But so if they have high power and high interest, then you need to manage with them closely. You need to manage closely with the Ministry of Health and RMA Ministry of Labor. But usually they have low interest. Uh, that means they will not visit you except once per three months, four months, five months. Uh, so they have low interest, but they have high power. So you, you need to keep them what? You need to keep them satisfied, keep them happy. They want paperwork, paperwork is ready. Uh, you want everything clean, we will make everything clean for you, even if it was only for the visits that you're going to come to us. But they are pop up visits, yeah, so it's not like it's not that. Uh, sorry, it's, it's uh, because just means usually, uh, as to my experience, they are clean, yeah, they are satisfying their requirements. Uh, so you can see that we have kept now the regulators at this position here. So we 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 have kept all of these people and then we need to write a summary here saying that we need to keep satisfying the regulators and manage close with the investors and keep informed uh, the employees informed about all the decisions our activities and we need to monitor uh, with minimal effort with the neighbors so that is what i have uh, for the example for uh, the for justice now if you go back to lulu hypermarket the example that I had in mind, I think so Lulu hypermarket, let me go one by one. OK, so if I'm going to take up, up talk about the neighbors uh, now with the neighbors, uh, they had a very high interest on in what's going on there. And and they made a big fuss of it. It was really a big fuss, Yanni. Um, and, and because of that, they had a lot of uh, into input of high interest into it. Uh, so I would consider now the neighbors to having a high interest and to be honest with you, with all the things that they had, the neighbors running here and there with the parliament member and and with the ministry and they had they have done a lot. But they have low power. They have low power. Um, because they have low power. I will not say why. Yeah, but usually neighbors, people, they have low power. Uh, so because they have low power uh, and they have high interest, now those neighbors, in, in the, uh, you need to keep them informed. Informed that it's going to be safe, it will not be crowded. Uh, so they are trying, we are going to give you special offers for the neighborhood. Uh, we are going to, I don't know. So you're, you're, I mean, you're trying to keep them informed. Maybe the first two informed. Uh, the first, third one is like a marketing strategy, a little different. But you are trying to be keep the neighbors informed, working with more interest towards the neighbors rather than just monitoring very minimally. You see now the neighbors shifted, shifted from here to there, and the, the reason that I shifted them is that. Uh, the example that that they have a high interest. So the neighbors is not always there. The regulators are not always there. Yani. Uh, why I'm saying this again? Because because I have seen students that they they uh, they have taken exactly the same example that I have mentioned. Uh, and in the exam. Uh, in the exam, they have written uh, exactly what I have written here. Even though the, the example that I have brought into uh, in, in the final exam was a different example. Uh, maybe the regulators come here, maybe the investors go there. So you need to see what power do they have, what, what interest do they have, so that you can identify on what quadrant they are going to be staying. Uh, it helps to prioritize the effort 
that you need to do to satisfy the need of the and expectations of the interested parties. Okay, now uh, th there is something that in ISO they also require us to do. If you want to take the ISO certificate, you identify the interested parties, you, you draw your power and interest matrix, and they also want us to uh, to to fill in this table. So this table that you can see, this is the same table with some more details. OK, and that is an example. I already gave you examples. So what is that table that they are trying to show us? It's this and that. So uh, OK, so here the interested party. We have written the interested party in our first column. The second column is written QMS requirement requirement to the interested party. So the quality management system, the ISO, uh, the ISO standards, they require from us certain information that we should do to the interested party. Now, what are the expectations of the interested parties? I also need to write that. OK, so there are QMS requirements and our expectations of the interested parties. And the QMS requirement already from experience, they are telling you what you should put as a standard here because they already know what are the expectations of the interested parties. OK, so uh, so they already know and they, they, they identify for you what are the quality management system requirements. Now, who are the interested parties? Customers, retailers, the one who is going to sell your product. The distributors who are going to distribute your product. So that is an interested party. You can separate them if you want. Uh, number two, the owner, shareholders, the board. Number three, people inside the organization, the employees. Number four, external provider partners. So you have partners, you work with them. You have mutual benefit. You make profit and they make profit. Number five, society regulatory authorities. Now when I say the word society regulatory, so it's not regulatory authority like, like LRMA, Ministry of Labor, it's society regulatory. That means I have things to do with environmental ethics and so on. Uh, local residents who are living around you, the bank who are you dealing with because you're taking money from the bank or you're putting in money in the bank. Finance, finance, that means how, what is your cash flow? What money are you making? What is going inside as money or outside of the organization as money? You have a restaurant, how much profit you're making? Trade unions, if there are trade unions. Insurance, uh, because you always have insurance, medical insurance or insurance on your shop uh, and so on. End user, the people who are going to use uh, your uh, product. Now, with all what I have mentioned here, QMS is coming and saying that I have identified what are your requirements. Before I go, what are the requirements? Uh, I think so. It's good also to look at the interested uh, expectation of the interested party. For example, customers. What customer wants? What is his expectation? He wants a good design, a good quality, a good price, a quick response. The things that we already know. Now, when you said good design, the QMS requirement tells you you need to have right specification for design. When we say quick response, the QMS requirement is telling that you need to have a clear process for delivery and support. So you see how they go hand in hand. So what I'm trying to say that in your ISO manual, when you write your manual, you know that you need to write details for the specification of your design. Why? Because you need to satisfy this interested party. So you can see how ISO is clever. It's putting a table for us to organize our work to satisfy all the interested parties that we have. Now the shareholders, what do they want? They want profit sustain. I, 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 they want a thousand BD every month. They want a good return on investment. I have put 1000 BD, I want one my 1000 BD to come back to me within three months. Uh, in, uh, the, the shareholders, they like things to be transparent. And the example I have in one of the organizations I'm working in, uh, 
the 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 account manager he was not transparent to the board of directors i'm 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 one of the board of the director members so i told him that you're not transparent with us you're not telling us how much you're spending how much you are making money and and so on uh, and then he showed me the clad cash flow in the next meeting and still it was not transparent till i said that if you're not going to be transparent with us yani you may not sit in the organization yani bikhtasar i'm going to fire you uh, he did not show me in the next meeting he was still not transparent and then he started hiding uh, the cash flow from from me when i asked it directly from the other managers uh, within the organization then uh, the, 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 the end of the story uh, we fired the the guy yani uh, and then he went to the court uh, to ask uh, to to give them to yani something in the court whatever so so what i'm trying to say i'm as a board of director member i'm one of the interested party i'm one of the board i need to have things clear especially when i'm talking about money okay when i'm talking about money i need to have everything clear in place now uh, going to what the qms requirement is telling me the qms requirement is telling me you need to have a clear financial investment that means clear a, pro, a clear cash flow which shows how much money is in what is the rate of return uh, what is the depreciation a very detailed cash flow it should be clear who has the power of decision uh, it should be identified uh, you see these details the qms requirement is identifying it for me because it knows that you cannot satisfy this expectation of the interest parties if you don't have this QMS requirement in place. Great, so these are the two we've covered so far. I think so it's, it will be very enjoyable if we continue with this on, on Sunday, which is the people in the organization. I was hoping to finish those, but I think so 40 minutes is always uh, less than enough for me. Uh, so these are the others that we're going to take next time, inshallah, uh, to satisfy uh, then the requirements, the QMS requirements. It's important for me to cover this part because, uh, like, uh, uh, I I bring those kind of questions in test two or finally, any or finally, any. Great. Yatikum uh, alafia. Any questions? Any questions? Victor. Hello. Uh, I was hoping to uh, to finish that, but inshallah next time. Victor, yeah. Ah, okay, yes, it's good. Victor, حق مثال جسميز مثلاً حق الإنفلونسرز نقدر نحط هاي ال الفود بلوجرز اللي يروح مثلاً يعني يطلب وصور حق المتابعين ويسوي ريفيو للأكل يعني بالذات لأن عند كوميونيتي واجد متابعين. يمكن يأثر في قرارات المطعم. أتفق وياك حلو. I like the example. I really like the example. Uh, I never thought of it. Uh, I really love it. Yes, they have an influence. Definitely. Now, if we are going to consider them as one of the interested parties, يعني يعني even if I think about it, uh, one of the interested parties, I put it in the power and interest matrix. Uh, they may have a high power, huh? But maybe they have low interests. You see, they have low interest. Uh, low interest in just means, yani. Why should I go to just means? Yani, uh, as a as a blogger or or a YouTuber or whatever. Uh, uh, but they could have high power on the people, on the buyers. Now, because of that, you need to keep them what? You need to keep them satisfied. Keep them satisfied, yani. You know, uh, invite him to your. <laughs> to your restaurant and have a nice time with him and you keep him satisfied so uh, yes i totally agree with you and yani, uh, uh, it's, it's beautiful i like the example hello great great thank you very much for everyone uh, i passed my time and uh, shall i see you on sunday uh, we are doing well 
يعني we will finish everything on time. Don't worry. We are not running out of time. We are with our good time to finish our syllabus. يعطيكم العافية في الله. مع السلامة.